So here are a few thoughts I have on disagreements between XJW activists. I don't usually comment on this topic at all. I want my work and my social media accounts to be about positivity and things that are useful to the XJW community. And by and large, XJW infighting isn't useful. Now that's not to say that discussion and debate are not useful. They are. But as with so many things, the problem is not with what is done, but the way in which it is done. Too frequently, discussions about subjects become vicious arguments about people, where no one is being their best self, and good intentions get lost. And too frequently, people seem unable to draw a line under these disagreements and move on. Rather, they instead become trapped in an ever more decreasing spiral of aggression and accusation that can end nowhere good and that creates wounds that tear wider with every exchange. Now, activists will disagree and even fall out, and that's okay. That's life. That's normal. No one has to agree with everyone, or even like everyone. Part of having healthy boundaries is the ability and the right to say, this is not a person whose company I desire, and this is not a person whose traits or opinions I approve of. But there comes a point where we have to ask, is my time best spent continually attacking another activist I dislike? Or rather, is my time best spent doing something positive for the XJW community? Once it's clear that I and another activist will never agree, is there anything to be gained from continually returning to the disagreement? What's the end goal? To argue forever in endless circles in an even more painful war of attrition? Who benefits from that? Does the endless sniping and war of words online make everyone's day better or worse? Does the XJW community log on to social media to hear us ripping each other apart in personal attacks? Or rather, does the XJW community come to us to find encouragement and solace for the pain they are suffering today and for help to rebuild their lives? To see that Watchtower is being held to account and that its human rights abuses are being publicised? To be frank, are our Twitter followers here for the arguments or the activism? I ask again, what are we here for? What is our mission? To help JWs and XJWs and to hold Watchtower to account? That's my mission. How well are we serving it? Or are we harming that mission? I respectfully submit that there comes a time to let a person walk their path whilst you walk yours and never the twain shall meet. There are activists with whom you have irreconcilable differences? Well, let them be. What is to be gained from constantly whipping up fresh arguments with those activists, which will go nowhere and will waste everyone's time and emotional energy? More to the point, what is to be gained by dragging the vulnerable and damaged XJW community yet again into a public fight with an activist you dislike? And consider the Jehovah's Witnesses. The scared, doubting Jehovah's Witnesses, nervously for the first time searching out apostate material online. At our best, the activist community is able to help such ones break free of their chains and get themselves and their loved ones out of a controlling cult. At our worst, we confirm every stereotype that Watchtower paints of us, and we risk sending a person who could have been freed running back to their chains. And who knows if they will ever get the strength to try again. Now, it has to be said, there are times when the record must be set straight. If a person is being slandered or directly misrepresented, then a response is clearly required, and understandable, and justified. There is a clear difference between defending oneself on the one hand and constantly instigating fresh conflict on the other. And again, I'm not here speaking of genuine discussion and debate held in good faith. 
where two people can strenuously disagree over an issue and perhaps come to no consensus at the end, but nonetheless shake hands and wish the other well and part on good terms. And on rare occasion, there may indeed be a genuinely dangerous bad actor whose behaviour crosses a threshold that requires addressing even at the expense of stress in the community, though I would posit that such occasions are very rare and have a clear bar which I would submit that most disagreements in the XJW activist community rarely cross. Now, these are obviously just all my own personal opinions, and I'm presenting them as such. I'm not telling anyone what to do. Indeed, I couldn't do that if I tried. I literally have no control over what others do, and nor should I. I'm just sharing my own personal thoughts that people can think upon or discard as they wish. I would simply finish by saying that, for myself, I have a mission. To help hurting and healing XJWs get through the day and rebuild their lives. To help doubting JWs break free from their chains. And to throw a spotlight on and press for action over Watchtower's harmful policies and human rights abuses. I want to focus on things that help that mission. Things that are useful. Increasingly, XJW activist infighting is useless at best and harms that mission at worst. It is not useful. Love you all. Peace out.